Ever wondered why Japanese gardens evoke a sense of tranquility and harmony? It's all in their design. These serene landscapes are not just beautiful, they're crafted with purpose, rooted in principles of harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Each element, from the winding paths to the meticulously pruned plants, holds a deeper meaning. Today we journey into the heart of these peaceful paradises, exploring the art of Japanese garden design. So what makes Japanese gardens so unique? Let's delve into their history. Japanese garden design, an ancient art form, has a rich history dating back to the Asuka period. This journey begins in the 6th century, during the Asuka period, when Buddhism first arrived in Japan from China and Korea. It was during this time that the earliest Japanese gardens were born, primarily for spiritual and contemplative purposes. These gardens were designed to mimic the paradisiacal landscapes described in Buddhist scriptures, creating a tranquil space for meditation and reflection. As we move forward to the Heian period, we find the Shinden style of gardens emerging. These gardens were designed to reflect the aristocratic lifestyle of the period, featuring large ponds surrounded by carefully arranged rocks and trees. The Kamakura and Muromachi periods saw the advent of Zen Buddhism, which had a profound influence on garden design. The gardens from this era are known for their simplicity, austerity and deep symbolism, reflecting the Zen belief in the beauty of imperfection and transience. The Edo period brought a resurgence of the Shinden style, but with a twist. The gardens were smaller, more intimate, and were designed to be appreciated from within the house, adding an element of practicality to their aesthetic appeal. Through centuries, Japanese garden design has been shaped by various historical events, religious beliefs, and cultural shifts. Despite these changes, the underlying philosophy of creating a harmonious and tranquil space that mirrors the natural world has remained constant. Now that we understand the history, we can appreciate the philosophy behind these gardens. Japanese garden design is more than just aesthetic appeal. It's a philosophy, a way of life. This philosophy stems from centuries of cultural heritage and reflects a deep-rooted connection with nature. Central to this philosophy are four principles, harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Harmony, or wa, is the cornerstone of any Japanese garden. This principle emphasizes the balance between all elements, creating a harmonious relationship between the garden and its surroundings. It's about blending the boundaries between the natural and the man-made. Respect, known as K, is about acknowledging the inherent dignity of every living thing. This principle is reflected in the meticulous care given to each plant, stone and water feature, recognizing their integral role in the overall garden design. Purity, or Sei, is embodied in the simplicity and cleanliness of Japanese gardens. It's about removing the unnecessary, focusing on the essential elements, and maintaining a pristine environment that promotes clarity of mind. Lastly, tranquility, jaku, is the ultimate state of being that Japanese gardens aspire to instill. It's about creating a tranquil space that fosters inner peace and serenity, a sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of daily life. These principles aren't just for gardens, they represent a way of living, a path towards a more balanced and fulfilling life. They remind us of our connection to the natural world and the peace that can be found in its embrace. Armed with this philosophy, we can now explore the key elements of a Japanese garden. Japanese gardens are meticulously designed, with each element having its unique significance. Let's delve into some of these key elements that bring the garden to life and contribute to its overall harmony. Firstly, the koi ponds. More than just an ornamental feature, koi ponds are a symbol of life and vitality. The elegant koi fish, with their vibrant colors and graceful movements, are believed to bring good luck and prosperity. The water in these ponds mirrors the sky, providing a sense of depth and spaciousness, while the sound of trickling water adds an element of tranquility to the garden. Next, we have the stone lanterns. These are not merely sources of light but rather, they guide the observer through the garden, leading them on a journey of discovery and contemplation. Traditionally, these lanterns are made of natural, rough-hewn stone, and their rustic appearance brings a sense of age and permanence, connecting the garden to the past. At night, the soft, diffused light from the lanterns creates an atmosphere of mystery and serenity. Then, there are the meticulously pruned plants. Japanese garden design is heavily influenced by the principle of wabi-sabi, which finds beauty in imperfection and transience. The plants are not meant to be lush and abundant, but rather, they are carefully pruned to exhibit a sense of restraint and modesty. 
The changing seasons bring about a transformation in these plants, reflecting the transient nature of life. Stone arrangements are another key element. They are often arranged in groups of three, symbolizing the Buddhist trinity of heaven, earth and mankind. The placement of these stones is not random but rather, they are meticulously positioned to create a sense of balance and harmony. Bridges, often crafted from stone or wood, are also a common feature. They represent a journey, both physical and spiritual, leading the observer from one part of the garden to another. The bridge may cross over a stream or pond, symbolizing the crossing from the mundane to the sacred. Lastly, we have the tea house or pavilion. This is a place for quiet reflection and communion with nature. It's often situated at the end of a winding path, providing a destination for the observer's journey through the garden. The simple, rustic design of the tea house embodies the principle of sukiya, which values simplicity, humility, and an intimate connection with nature. Every element in a Japanese garden serves a purpose and has a story to tell. They are placed not just for their aesthetic value, but also for their symbolic significance, contributing to the garden's overall harmony and tranquility. With these elements in mind, let's see how you can create your own Japanese garden. Creating a Japanese garden no matter how small is a journey of self-discovery and connection with nature. It's about embracing the principles of harmony, respect, purity and tranquility, and bringing them to life in your own space. Let's embark on this journey by exploring some practical tips to help you design your own Japanese garden. The first step is to observe your space. Whether it's a sprawling backyard or a compact balcony, the principles of Japanese garden design can be adapted to fit. It's all about creating a sense of balance and harmony, so consider the existing elements and how they can be incorporated into your design. Next, choose your key elements carefully. A koi pond may not be feasible for a small balcony, but a stone basin or a mini water feature can create a similar sense of tranquility. Similarly, a stone lantern might be overwhelming in a small space, but a carefully chosen solar lantern can provide the same ambient light. The choice of plants is crucial. Opt for species that are naturally found in Japanese gardens like Japanese maple, azaleas, and moss. Each plant should be chosen for its aesthetic value as well as its symbolism. For instance, azaleas represent transience in Japanese culture, reminding us of the fleeting beauty of life. Pruning is an important aspect of Japanese garden design. It's not just about maintaining the size and shape of your plants, but also about revealing their inner essence. This is a process that requires patience and practice, but the result is a deeply personal and rewarding connection with your garden. Now let's talk about stones, an integral part of any Japanese garden. They represent the enduring aspect of nature, providing a counterpoint to the transience of plants. Arranging your stones is a deeply personal process, reflecting your own journey and experiences. Finally, consider the pathways. These should not just be functional but also contribute to the overall design. Gravel paths are common in Japanese gardens, their crunching sound adding another sensory layer to the garden experience. And there you have it. With careful thought and creativity, you can create a Japanese garden that not only beautifies your space, but also serves as a sanctuary for your soul. A Japanese garden isn't built in a day so take your time, enjoy the process, and let your garden evolve naturally. Remember a Japanese garden is a living artwork constantly evolving with time and nature. So, let your garden grow and with it let your connection to nature deepen. Embrace the journey, and find joy in your own slice of tranquility. Japanese garden design is an art form that speaks to the soul, inviting us to find peace in nature. We've journeyed through its rich history, from ancient times to the present, and delved into its profound philosophy, grounded in harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. We've explored its key elements, each meticulously chosen and placed from koi ponds to stone lanterns and pruned plants, all working in unison to create a serene and balanced space. In crafting your own Japanese garden, remember, it's not just about aesthetics. It's a spiritual journey, a way to connect with nature and find peace in our often chaotic world. Whether your garden is sprawling or compact, embracing these principles can transform it into a personal sanctuary, a space of serenity and reflection. In conclusion, Japanese garden design offers a unique way to intertwine art, philosophy and nature. Embrace the harmony, respect, purity and tranquility of Japanese garden design and bring a piece of this ancient art form into your own space.